It's, it's embarrassing, and, um, and I was angry. It was the unsolicited homecoming that left Bronx native Darren Martin unsettled. After spending several years working on Capitol Hill and in the White House with the Obama administration, Martin recently made the move back to New York, getting a job with the city and finding a unit in this five-story walk-up on the Upper West Side. On moving day this past Friday, Martin got an unexpected visit from the NYPD. I'm in my apartment, but you know, can't go nowhere without the cops following me. Turns out someone called 911 to report a burglary in progress. And the suspect? The building's brand new tenant, Martin. Somebody called the cops on me in my own building. About how many of y'all? About six of y'all showed up, rolled up on me. This is the only time that I had to move. And I didn't think anyone was really going to call the cops on me because, I mean, I was moving into the building. Without skipping a beat, Martin went live on Instagram, documenting the encounter with authorities. Trying to break into my own apartment. All the doors, banging, possibly a weapon, large tool. Oh my God. An investigation later determined there was nothing criminal about Martin's activity. He tells us his skin color, along with the gentrifying neighborhood along 106th Street, were obvious factors that led to police being called. As a black man, when you're in, a, in an all-white environment, you're cognizant of that. So I actually I have to say I found it symbolic and a, a sort of a welcome to the neighborhood. Sadly, Martin's story isn't one of a kind. What did they get called for? Because there are two black guys sitting here meeting me? Yes. Earlier this month, two black men were arrested at a Philadelphia Starbucks for trespassing after asking to use a bathroom. In Martin's case, he hopes the incident serves as a teaching moment for his neighbor and others out there jumping to conclusions. Get to know folks before you make these assumptions because, you know, when you make that call, there's no, there's no going back and it could have ended up very differently. Now, our calls to Pine Management, the company that manages the building on 106th Street, were not returned. As for Martin, he just started a one-year lease with the building and says he plans to ride it out. The incident, he hopes, starts a conversation with neighbors.